All right, here we go, right? Quick video, just in case you forget, uh, checking gas pressure, right? On this gas valve, we've got the big boss plugs on each side, okay? This is gonna be our inlet. The manifold pressure, three and a half inches for natural gas or uh, 10 to 11 inches for propane is gonna be off of uh, this side where your black pipe is, your, ma your manifold. Uh, checking the gas pressure on either side is real simple. Use your refrigeration wrench or a set of Allen keys, right? And you're going to take the boss plug out. All right, take the boss plug out. Make sure you don't strip it when you put it back in. We're going to put our brass adapter. Just snug it there. Then you're going to put on your flexible tube hose and then connect that to your man o meter. It's a manometer, don't get it wrong. Um, and of course, your manometer will be on. Uh, you could check the pressure while it's running or when it's static, it's just off. Uh, on the inlet side, you should have uh, upwards of a half of an inch or 13 to 14 inches of water column, depending on if a regulator's there or not. Uh, on the outlet, you would do the same procedure. Uh, and of course, it will be much smaller to your three and a half for propane, or I mean, excuse me, your three and a half for natural gas or uh, 10 to 11 inch for propane. If you check it, and uh, especially on the outlet side, on the manifold side, all right, I'm going to undo this on the inlet side, right? See how the, that's why you do it piece by piece so it don't get all twisted up. Just snug. If you were to do this on the manifold side, if you were to go through the same procedure uh, of uh, hooking up your, uh, to check your gas pressure in and out, uh, of course you want to do it mainly when the unit's running. All right. But if you were to go through and do this and realize that your gas pressure is not uh, in the proper range, all right? Once you uh, once you get your manifold gas pressure, what if it's wrong? What if it's three inches instead of three and a half? Um, what you would need to do is uh, right here is a uh, a cap that you can take off. Oh. There we go. cap you can take off and you can look down in here. Let me get around and look down in there. And right in here is going to be a Phillips head. It's a plastic insert but that's where you would adjust the gas pressure. If it's too high you would take and turn it to the left to relieve some pressure uh, coming out the manifold side. If it's too low you would turn it to the right and that would increase your manifold pressure coming out the valve. Uh, but then, uh, once you're done, just put the cap back in place, of course, right? Uh, and just barely snug it up. It doesn't have to be super tight, but you don't want any dirt or uh, debris or anything getting in there. And when you're done, take everything back off and always, always, always put the boss plug back in and secure it tight enough so that it's not going to leak and cause some type of uh, some type of gas leak. Right? You go up to the unit while it's running, you should walk away from it while it's running. And that way you know that you've done what you uh, you should have done. All right? All right? And that's real simple how to check your gas pressure.